Hey guys, what's up? This is Ed. As you can see here, I'm showing Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. One of the coolest point and clicks I think I've played. Came out, I think, in 1993. But today, I actually want to talk about this. Which was um, the book version, which Jane Jensen, the, uh, the game designer, the, game, the person who wrote the story for the original Gabriel Knight games. Um, what she brought out in 1996. Um, I read through it last week, didn't take me very long. Um, I just want to give you a quick overview. So stay tuned, be very quick, won't go into too much detail. But uh, if you have played the original game, then I definitely recommend um, picking up this book. So I'm just going to show the intro here which is um, Gabriel Knight's dream sequence that explains all of this um, background and why he's intrigued in these voodoo murders in New Orleans. It's quite interesting when you read the book version it goes into a lot more detail um, gives you obviously it gives you more context the author is able to explain a bit more about um, how he's feeling when he's having those dreams and, and um, what's driving him through the game. You do get that in the game, but the book just gives you extra um, extra description. I would say the only thing in the book, um, it does slightly mix up some of the days. Um, it follows the game very closely. In fact, it even explains some of the puzzles so if you haven't played the game if you read the book it will give you some spoilers obviously um, in terms of the story but in actually how to solve some of the puzzles in the game um, however um, you know if you've played it through first and you just want to remember the story of the game um, without playing it all the way through I definitely recommend picking up the book I think I took maybe five hours total to, to get through it. It's not super long, it's only, uh, let's have a look, it's only 403 pages, so it's not um, super long. One of the things I do like about the book is it goes into more detail about some of the characters, so um, really gives you, really fleshes out Mosley, for example, um, and uh, Grace um, heaps more, heaps more um, background on how they are alludes a lot more into Grace's affection for Gabriel as well which is quite interesting and also his for her um, yeah I, I don't want to go too much into it it's really um, it's a book that is pretty cheap um, I got this one off of eBay uh, it's got an original price sticker from must have been from when it came out 20 years ago for $13. Um, it is on like abooks or amazon.com for like five bucks. Um, I had to get this one off of eBay. Interestingly, look, they've got an image of Gabriel from uh, the second computer game because that was um, FMV compared to the original sprites that we've got here. Um, yeah, overall, definitely recommend it. Really enjoyable. I like the game, so I'm pretty biased. Um, but I definitely think if you didn't know that there was actually a book version, um, definitely worth finding it and giving it a quick read. Anyway, catch you guys later. I'm going to play through a little bit more of this. Bye!